Can you share a little bit about how using PDP can help us take some principles into the tension and complexity that comes with differences and similarities? I think that just uh, one of the inherent, I'll say one of the basic principles of not just the PDP, but of SDM is just the concept of requirements versus preference, tradition, and convenience, right? All that means is there's a requirement, the objective of what we're trying to accomplish or what has to happen. Preference is how we like it. Tradition is what we've always done. Convenience is just the path that's always, that's already been established. But when you think about and so if you can make decisions based on the requirements, for me, it's integrity in the sense of there's a true north, so to speak, that everyone has come together for this purpose to achieve this objective. Everything else, it has that's the standard by which we're setting it up. And for me, that's what managing that definition of managing diversity is or, or what diversity is and managing diversity, trying to creating and maintaining an environment that allows all participants to fully contribute to organizational objectives, yeah, to their full bit potential. Full potential. And that this means that it's not that paradigm one is the true north, not that paradigm two is the true north. They all have to align, contribute their portion to what the true north is. And so for me, that's where that concept of principles is about. It's not about favoring one at the expense of the other because or what, along those four paradigms. They're all essential. And again, there's a standard of that's what the requirements is. Everything else has to align with that. Got it. 